We believe that the people that protect our lives, our families, our schools and businesses every day are unsung heroes that deserve the same commitment to helping them as they give to helping all of us. Well, I, I have to say that uh, I, I've been very pleased with the Mayor Alert. Um, I deal with a lot of contractors and a lot of vendors, um, you know, and, uh, so it, it, it's you know one of the better one of the better uh, tools that I use and one of the better companies that that uh, you know I, I've had the, the pleasure of dealing with. It's not enough to sell a product or develop a product. You have to really understand and believe in the application of it to that it's you know there's real people that are going to be at the end of it. You know, you, you, you're designing these things and building these things. You hope you never have to use them, but if you do, you want them to be dependable and something that can really save someone's life and uh, keep them out of harm's way. And, you know, you, it can't just be about making sales and, you know, creating something cool. It, you have to believe on that back end that you're doing something good and, and helping people in a very, very real and substantive way. Um, Nate and, and his team are just phenomenal at, uh, at, at assisting the folks locally um, and you know helping with the training and set up, setting up uh, the accounts that you know sometimes may be a little bit unusual for for OmniAlert, but it's you know it's based on Alstom's or GE's requirements. Um, and I, I can honestly say I, I don't get that from you know, from other vendors that I, I have to deal with. If, if, I, I wish they were all like that. To those for whom failure is not an option, we are dedicated to their success. It makes my job very much easier to do, and, and I appreciate it. Wow. All right. I, I just don't know why it took so long to get it. <laughs> <laughs> It's, just, it's security for those of us who have to do the communicating and those who are receiving the communication. But we love your support staff. Scott Howard, anytime we need any sort of question answered just to make us feel better that there might be a concern, not only does he know the answer or he finds it, but he does it so quickly. Wonderful. Thanks, Scott. The crux of my job is to make sure that this campus is safe and that everybody goes home when everything's done. And I think that's what I take personally, in that if, if somebody dies on my watch and it's something that I could have prevented, that's something I'm going to have to live with as an individual, not just as a chief or a university employee. So my goal is, is if there's something out there that I can use to mitigate that, the likelihood of, of a death occurring, then I'm going, to, I'm going to fight tooth and nail to get the funding for that, to put it in place, to keep my community safe. And that's something that I take personal, and I think every chief does. We just, we just have to we have to step up and we have to fight for what we know is right. And we've got to keep pushing until they fund these programs and get these things in place to keep our community safe. That's what's going to make the difference in the long run. That's what's going to save lives.